Gardner has a variety of foundation types. We see everything from stone foundations to block and mortar, crawl space, slab foundations, and poured concrete walls. Uh, with crawl spaces, which we see a lot in Gardner, we do a lot of crawl space encapsulation. So that's taking uh, a musty, moldy type of foundation in a crawl space and making that clean, uh, sealed with a dehumidifier and a full sump pump system. So the water essentially can be directed away from the crawl space itself. We can get rid of that musty smell. And if there's any potential of mold in the past, it'll be taken care of as well because everything is encapsulated dry and clean. And so we find ourselves doing quite a bit of that in Gardner with the newer parts of Gardner. We have a lot of poured foundation walls. And so we deal a lot with cracks walls that are moving in and buckling. So we'll do a lot of I-beam braces that will reinforce the structure of a foundation wall. We'll do a lot of peering, especially this time of year where we see a lot of settling that's taking place. So we'll do under, underpinning or peering to help recover some of the settlement to close the gaps. If you have doors that are sticking, we can resolve those types of issues with our peering techniques. And then in the spring, when it becomes wet, uh, we'll, we'll take care of those cracks, we can close them up, we can inject cracks to make sure that we can uh, add waterproofing techniques to the cracks. If it's too much or if the water is coming through too many directions, we have interior drain systems, exterior drain systems that we can use. We can look at um, total waterproofing from the interior and exterior of the, the home. We have lifetime products that will approach both both the exterior and the interior when it comes to waterproofing and gardener. And whether it's a stone foundation, a block, or a poured wall, all the techniques are relatively similar. There's just little nuances that we can apply to each of them, and we're used to seeing those, and we can work with that in KCPR. I guess the biggest problem with foundation problems, whether it's cracks or, 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 or water in basements, is the issues just simply don't resolve themselves. And the sooner, that you tend to resolve the issue tends to save you money because the issue is only smaller and escalating. It is on a curve to escalate and extrapolate and get worse. And the repair bills, as the repair gets worse, only get bigger. So we can go, for example, from a two or three I-beam wall and resolve that for just a, a few hundred dollars. And, but if you allow that wall to continue to move, that wall can then become a few thousand dollars. And most repairs, when it comes to whether it's structural and settling or walls or cracks that are getting worse or waterproofing, if the water is showing up in one corner, it'll begin to kind of spread along the walls and maybe find itself through different corners. If you can resolve that early enough, you can stop the issue right away and it won't get worse, which ultimately is gonna save you money.